hello everyone so in this video i will explain about cqrs design pattern with spring boot so this is actually basically uh, one of the microservice design pattern that actually used nowadays so if we use this pattern then we can like uh, like segregate the read and write operations so that uh, we can't uh, means increase or scale the applications based on the load right so cqrs is one of the important pattern when actually we are querying between the microservices we can use cqrs design pattern in order to avoid complex queries to get rid of uh, inefficient join like maybe if we are having some complex join or inefficient join so in this scenarios maybe we can't use this one this is basically stand for the command and query responsibility segregations basically using this pattern we can uh, like as we are saying this we can easily segregate the read and uh, like write operations like uh, the read is the separate only the fetch is happen and uh, the another one is only responsible for like insert update delete so those kind of things so if we are talking about the monolith applications so most of the time in case of the monolith applications we are having a single database and this particular database in uh, we are doing all the operations like read operations write operations now let's take one example in this monolith applications if we are going to like uh, in a single db we are doing all the operations read also like fetching the data also as well as also we are like uh, like writing the data like insert some information or maybe uh, update some information or maybe deleting so those all the things is happen in a single uh, database right now suppose uh, if we are fetching some data which basically relate to some analytics kind of thing or maybe some kind of the report like maybe if we are going to face some report based on some data like maybe last month uh, uh, how many sales or order how many order means part, order count how many order place based on the like state based on the city so there are lots of aggregation is there right so maybe sometimes so that means the if you are going to write such queries then it will be very complex maybe for that uh, the, those query we need to like join many many tables and those maybe if we are not use properly index or something then obviously it will lock the databases because suppose we are selecting something and in the same time some write operations or some another phase is coming so until or until one sql is not completed it will hold the block block the particular row or something then other process will hold the till like the this one release the lock right so this can be like issues for the locking mechanism so this model particular cqrs design pattern is basically segregate this read and write operation so that we can scale based on the load and also like uh, like uh, as uh, those are different maybe we can define microservices we can create for this one so for this different microservices we can use a different uh, database also so that there is a no dependency like uh, no blocking kind of thing so these are the thing so most of the applications nowadays we are doing insert delete update as well as the fetch so when we are going to design this kind of the application so basically we are having entities like maybe if we are going to uh, talking about the e-commerce site when actually we are placing the order so what entities we need to create like order user product uh, then maybe when any order is par purchased someone is purchased then we need to store this particular order into order details table so this kind of entities over there so this entity we are creating and and respectively we are also creating some repository where actually we are keeping those uh, like uh, database related uh, sequels right like fetching data or maybe insert or maybe update so those kind of, so if we are talking about the order details so where actually we are storing the order order related informations so basically for this we are create another repository and where we need to mention actually all the uh, like uh, select uh, means all the sequels uh, related to the order details uh, order details tables right like select start from these tables or maybe insert into this table or maybe update from this where order id is something so means all the sequels uh, DM, dml sequels all we need to keep over in the single repository so that means we are combined all the read and write operations into a single place right now like uh, 
now as we are talking only about the write operations so in the case of the write what would, would happen only we need to insert data into the order digit so that is a very easy write we can simply like using the insert uh, into this table so that we can easily like insert the data into this one but suppose if we are going to uh, like uh, display some kind of statistics uh, to the user like maybe nowadays we are having some dashboard and which basically this particular dashboard uh, uh, view by the admin user right and this particular admin user want to view um, uh, like uh, like all the statistics like month wise day wise week wise or maybe year wise so we need to or maybe five last five years last 10 years so there is a lots of data it will also fetch or maybe lots of tables also we need to join for this one so in that time those kind of uh, like uh, it will causing issues right so this that's why i was saying this cqrs design pattern is basically defines it those the read and the write one in nowadays uh, lots of applications we are having here actually most of the read is happening instead of the write right because uh, if we are taking one example like for the facebook and the twitter example right so they are actually whenever actually login it will uh, give us some what are the those post updates so actually it fetches all the details and we are showing in the landing page right so those kind of things already select so if we are talking about those applications or maybe some other applications so most of the time we are doing the read operations instead of the write operations so if we are segregate based on this traffic actually the read and write then obviously if we say means like create those uh, uh, applications or maybe microservice based on this read and write then obviously we can automatically scale those applications separately right if read applications taking more uh, resource then we can increase scale this particular application and write for the write we can keep as is so next let's let's like take the like architectural diagram of this one so this is kind of the architect architectural diagram of this sqrs design pattern like uh, from the front end can be maybe like it's a mobile or maybe uh, it's a uh, portal or maybe anything right portal can be done using the like angular or maybe uh, react whatever it is so it will actually basically call this particular ui and this there are the two different one is the command another one is the query so command actually basically is responsible for only write the data this is the write db and query actually basically fetching data from this db this is a read db okay so there is a one db and the means whenever any data is insertion over here so here is actually one event bus so this is a kind of the synchronous the asynchronous data syncing from this db to this db so that's why so whenever means we are storing into like uh, insert any order details into here so it will uh, done by this one so it will not return anything over here just only success or uh, like failure and uh, in this query uh, like uh, uh, query we are just fetching data from this table that means uh, there is a no like a locking will happen because it can be done separately right so this is the advantage means this is the world the architecture of this one like how this uh, secure is design pattern basically look like there is a two database so next like uh, thing is the, like how we are going to implement this one right so let's take this service diagram so for the demo perspective I am just keeping as a single microservice uh, where actually I, I will create two controller one for the query another one for the command service so command controller actually who will basically responsible to update insert and delete data and this query is basically uh, like uh, do some queries and uh, based on the result it will return us something and here also I am keeping just one like uh, uh, like DB not because it will be better if we are using two DBs so just for demoing purpose i am just keeping in a single db so single db can be your anything like uh, maybe you can use the postgre you can use mysql so i will uh, i will use uh, like h2 database for this one and like one more thing like uh, maybe if we are going to use two database or maybe you guys also use the two database so maybe uh, one db you can use uh, in mysql or maybe oracle or something and another db also for the database you can use the like uh, no sql database so that it will perform better right so those kind of thing will be done in a in this uh, secure rs design pattern so i think i hope i am clear about this means i am clearing those things uh, you guys can understand like how what is this secure rs design pattern and where we are going to use this one it will be very easy like uh, 
so like when means i will also create one microservices uh, and also like i will use the istio database and i will create all the things in a like spring boot 3 in the latest version and java 17 so that it will be easy to understand so let's uh, create the microservice and check out how it will be look like in a real example so for demonstrating this cqrs design pattern actually i have created one this marvinized based project uh, so let's check out the like what dependency i have used uh, so basically i have used spring boot starter data jpa and then starter web and then lombok and then h2 database so here actually you guys can use any database like uh, oracle mysql nosql whatever you like so that you can use so for the demonstrating purpose i've used this h2 database and lombok just to avoid the like uh, unnecessary code for the getter and setter and this web basically used for uh, like uh, writing the controller and this is basically as we are going to use this uh, data jpa so that's why uh, we have used this uh, starter data jpa so i have created one controller actually so this particular control i'm nothing uh, like uh, doing over here just uh, it's taking one body and this particular dto having two like parameter one is the user id another one is the product id okay and then like i've created one entity which will actually basically uh, like storing this user id and, and product id means like whenever any request will come from over here then it will actually we are going to save this data into this order details table so how we are going to save the data so that for that i have created one repository over here and then actually we are mapping these things over here right so it will be uh, long okay so this is the repository and next what we can do we can create uh, another uh, like uh, package dot service which will basically save the data right so let's create one service class like order service okay and here it will be obviously we need to annotate with uh, service annotation So next we can create one method which will basically responsible for place the order or maybe we can say save the order details. So you can say place order. It will take one input like that DTO we are passing from um, we are getting from the request. So that's a command DTO. So and then like here we can like uh, uh, set data into this particular entity so that we can save the data into like uh, db new order details so order details dot set user id equal to dto dot get user id and next order details dot set uh, product ID and that also I will get from the DTO once this is done then we can save this particular information in a rep using repository right so that actually also we need to auto edit this one private order details repository okay repository and using this repository we can save the data over here repository dot save order details okay so this is done now so this particular method actually will call from this controller right so here actually we are going to auto air this particular service private order service okay so here actually we need to dot place order and this data we need to pass and here from here actually we are not going to like return anything okay what it is saying uh, create method place order command dto okay
okay we need to save this one okay now it will work what else we need to do over here actually we need to annotate it with some post mapping right so we need to we can annotate it with post mapping post mapping and here we need to provide the path like uh, place okay order okay so this is done for this command query controller like uh, this is just a simple one maybe we can uh, also write another mapping for cancel the order or maybe update the order uh, so maybe for cancelling the order we can put some like uh, logic like if uh, uh, this is uh, maybe days some days or some placeholder date if it is passed or not so those kind of condition or those kind of business validation also we can do but just to demonstrating purpose i've just only create one so that we can easily like demonstrate next what we can do we can create another controller actually which will basically like uh, maybe responsible for read the data so maybe controller can be name can be query as i think command and query so it's a let's say it's a query controller okay so it's also like uh, maybe we can segregate all the things uh, like for this we need to create one query service okay same for the order so we can create another like query service okay so here actually wh wh what we are going to do we can like maybe okay in the repository we can create another repository so let's say order instead of the order details maybe order query details repository okay so the these things will be same so there is no change now in the query service we can use this repo order query details repository okay what it will do actually it will just basically as we are doing only the like fetch operation read only operation so we can like uh, maybe we can do find all okay and it will return some data so if we are going to return data so it will return us something it will maybe get all order okay so it will return list of order details okay and this particular service actually we can't use from here okay get all orders so it will be a gate mapping and uh, get all orders okay and we are not passing any input over here because we don't need here also we don't need any DTO because we are just doing the find all right so this is the query service this is this is query order query for example query order okay so this is about this uh, query controller so here actually uh, means instead of uh, okay just rename this one get all orders okay so here actually just i am uh, like putting only the simple thing uh, not complex but here actually we can't uh, write uh, all the like uh, means complex sequels in the repository in the query details order query repository over here so here actually we can like maybe we can join with multiple tables so that we can we can write those things in a hql or maybe we can like uh, statistics kind of data from the database that we can fetch uh, in a native query so if required 
maybe sometimes what happened that uh, all the query what we need means what kind of data we need to re, uh, means in the response we need to send that is not possible into the using the hql so on the same time what you can do instead of uh, fetching those data using the hql we can write like uh, native native queries right so those kind of only related to the select or read operations can only related sequence we can done over here so and uh, here also we can connect with some other databases as those microservices will be separate so in this way like we can segregate those things so if we are going to run this one let's run this program uh, so that we can uh, we can save some data over here okay tomcat started okay so tomcat whenever you will start it so it we can check that this particular table will like automatically create right we can connect with uh, h2 database this orders db as you can see like this order details already like uh, here so if we select over here so there is a no data right so now insert some data uh, using this command because command controller is basically responsible to oh, like uh, place the order right okay let's place the order so in the from the postman i've already like uh, this endpoint i've already created and here i'm passing user id and the product id as you can see over here so this is uh, taking this one like this user id and the product id let's try to put some data over here so we are getting success right let's check the db yes user id1 and the product id1 okay next like uh, what you can check we can like uh, try to queries right so in the if we check the query controller so here actually query order and the get order so it will list out all the orders so let's check this one okay we are getting this one right right so this is working now suppose if we are uh, put some more data like user id 1 and product id is 4 so it is also success now it will also return over here so this is id is 2 and then 1 and 4 right and this data also should be we can check from here also right so this is uh, like in this way like we can segregate those read and write operations this is all about uh, like the CQRS design pattern. I will uh, like uh, you guys can uh, get this code into the description section. So that's all about the CQRS design pattern. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.